Today we're going to look at the Rimco inspired NECA glow in the dark Frankenstein. back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the glow-in-the-dark Remco inspired Frankenstein. Yes, NECA took it upon themselves to go and remake our Remco toys that we had when we was kids. I had all of them. I think I had all of them. I might not have had the creature from the Black Lagoon. It's hard. I cannot remember. It was so long ago. It had to have been in the early, early 80s when these came out. But yeah, NECA is inspired by Remco to release these. Now, they did release their ultimate Frankenstein, which we have right up here. And we will compare this to that later in this uh, very video. But... This is very nostalgic. The packaging is just like what we had when we was kids. The paint scheme is more like what we had when we was kids. But it's the same molds, but just more nostalgic and older feeling. Very vintage feel to it. But what I will say is this, this is my mint on card, and this is the one that I'm going to be opening, which... I already have opened it. So I've got my mint on card, which is going to stay mint on card. So I've got two of every one of these. I'm missing a few. We'll go over those when we get to them. But the ones I do have, I have two of each. So I'm going to set him down here, my mint on card, right down there. And now we'll focus on this one. Now this one you can see, I've already had it out of the box. Like I mention on my channel all the time, I keep all my packaging. I try to repackage it if I can. Now this one's getting a little loose, a little loose on here. So this blister, I'm going to try to keep keep it with it. But if I lose the blister, I lose the, the plastic blister. But I will keep the backing on it. I mean, this is super thick on this backing, but very, very good. Now... Let's get my glasses. Check it out the packaging. Now, if when we look real close at this packaging, it is even scratched up. They put like fake scratches on the corners here. It looks very old, but that is actually part of the paint scheme. So they wanted you to get that old school feel. And you see NECA right here. Now, when we was kids, this was made by Remco, and it said Remco instead in there instead of NECA. But this has got the very nostalgic feelers out on it. We get this burst right here, letting you know it glows in the dark. Awesome. So the big sun right here glows in the dark. NECA, Universal Cities Studios. Universal City Studios, Frankenstein Monster. Universal Monsters logo down here, Choking Hazards. And this says, an authentic poseable action figure based on the classic Universal's famous mini monsters collection from the early 1980s, recommended for ages 14 and over. So right there tells you that they are based on their famous mini monsters. And I, like I mentioned, I had the case and everything to go with them. And it was quite the collection. I really liked them. I was really young when I had these. I'm... I'm thinking I was uh, eight, nine, maybe even younger than that. I, I need to look up when, when these were, uh, the mini monsters were actually released. But I was super young, but I did play with them quite a bit. My dad was a huge Universal Monsters fan. So I'm sure when he saw them in the store, he's like, I'm getting them. Little Richie can play with those. And yep, I sure did. Played with them a lot. But that is what this is based on. Check it out the back. We have our Cross Cell, Mummy, Frankenstein, Wolfman. Now, these three were released at the same time. And then the others, 
I didn't really like the way they released them. Some of them were uh, New York Comic Cons. It just some of them was uh, just NECA online exclusives. So they were a little hard to get. I had a lot of trouble getting the creature from the Black Lagoon. And a matter of fact, I still have not gotten the Fan of the Opera. Remco style glow in the dark NECA figure, which so I'm out to get that. That should be my next one I get. I did pre order the Count Orlock from Nosferatu. They did release one of those in this style, even though it's not universal. They did do it, so I can't wait to get that. And what else did they do? Did they do a did they do a London after midnight? I don't remember if they did or not. But whatever they are, I do have them on pre-order. But that is going to be it. We do also on – they did add on your producers of the action figure right there, which is really awesome. Collect the whole creepy crew of Universal Film Monsters, all posable and ready for action. And you get your Universal logo there, NECA. So pretty, pretty awesome. Now – Looking at him, I, I want to. His head sculpt might be different than our ultimate Frankenstein, but we'll get those down to compare them at the end of this video. But check out the big picture of Boris Karloff right there. How great is that? That looks awesome. You get a really good up close and personal look at that. Just beautiful picture of Boris Karloff there as. Frankenstein's monster. All right, so we're going to reach in here without further ado. I just, what I did was I cut around this thing and I popped it up, and that allows you just to pull him down. And Frankenstein has been resurrected. There he is. All right, we'll take our packaging, set it to the side. So we'll go through articulation up really well, really well looking up. Looks down pretty good. Left, right, a lot of head movement there. Not sure if these heads are removable or not. Let's see. Yes, they are. So you can mix and match your monsters here, probably, probably, if they got the same ball joint on their neck. Let's see. We have shoulders all the way around. We have that single butterfly on there. We got the single elbow. Gives us a little over a 90-degree angle there. He can give you the Nolan Ryan fastball at the wrist. He has wrists that go up and down. Let's see, what else does this guy have? Is there a, a not? I don't think there's an ab crunch in there, but there is a hula hoop waist. There is pretty good splits for Frankenstein. Decent enough straddles. Maybe his back hips hot, stopping that back one, but he can give you the big Hulk Hogan big boot there. Boom. Let's see, we have... Oh, his legs will, his upper thighs will twist on that ball joint. Pretty good movement there. He's got knees that'll get you 40, uh, 90, 90 degrees, and those knees will rotate in and out. And we got ankle rockers, yep. And we, can he parallel? You better believe Boris Karloff can parallel. Parallel machine Boris Karloff, let's check it out. The glow and the dark effect is in. Uh, I think you would need, do you need sunlight or I should hold this up to my light and then we'll turn the lights off, shut the blinds. It might get dark in, enough in here to get this glow in the dark effect. But very good head sculpt here. Now I, they're trying to get that Rimko look, not so much our ultimate Frankenstein. So it doesn't really look like Boris Karloff a whole lot here. So he does have a nice cut on his head with some blood on there. He's got the still the staples up on the top of his head. He's got black circles around his eyes, black lips, and the big bolts coming out of his neck. Now I just started a new Audible book today. It's not new. It's this is my second second time listening to it and it is my third time involved with it but it is the novel by mary shelley's frankenstein great novel i know i touched on this before but really you really need to check this book out 
do audible book if you can. I do mow grass as as a retired old man. I retired from my job, so just to keep doing something, I work four days a week, about four or five hours a day mowing grass for our local township. There's three cemeteries that we're in charge of, and me and one other guy, we get our job done. We don't take breaks. Once that mower starts, it don't stop, and we get these things knocked out. And then I get home to make videos for you guys, talk with you guys, and it's unbelievable. So everything's worked out. But anyways, while I'm mowing that grass, I listen to Audible books. My first year in, I listened to Frankenstein. And as it's getting close to Halloween, it's October 8th, I thought, I just finished Dracula, listening to Dracula. That took me about a week and a half to listen to it. And now I'm on to Frankenstein. And I must say that Frankenstein is... It's better. It's better. It's better than Dracula. I do love Bram Stoker's Dracula. Great book, but man, there is. It's just so good. Uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So give it a listen. But there you go. There's my plug on Audible and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So here we go. Checking it out. It. I mean, it's got the green undershirt on there. The black suit top. Black pants. Glow in the dark hands and face. So that's all that's going to glow in the dark, I do believe. The suit looks awesome. I believe everything else is just the same as our ultimate Frankenstein. So what we will do, we'll go ahead and we'll get our ultimate Frankenstein down. And I have on a different head sculpt that is not... Yeah, I, I believe these are going to be totally different head sculpts because I mean look at the detail in this one and I know this is the different head sculpt this is the smiling or growling Frankenstein where this is but it's got to be different I would think there's no wrinkles no real face wrinkles to these so I think they are head wise different but everything else is the same I mean, he's got the black undershirt on the ultimate, the green undershirt, but everything else is exactly the same. The wrinkles on the pants are exactly the same. The wrinkles on the front. Let's see, are the hands. What about the hands? The hands are exactly the same. Of course, this one's painted in that glow-in-the-dark green that we know so well. But, yeah, same exact mold except the heads. The head sculpt, I believe, is different but exciting stuff so happy with this now what we're going to do is I'm going to try to shut out all the lights shut the blinds I don't know if it's going to get dark enough in here but and we'll see if he glows in the dark well I couldn't get it quite dark enough there's too much light coming through those blinds I need to get some curtains put on there but yeah maybe I'll take it into uh, a closet or something and see if he'll glow in the dark. But that's going to be it. Frankenstein, glow in the dark, NECA, Remco style. Till next time. Oh, yeah.